thought I'd uh, run you through what I've uh, been working on uh, the last uh, week or so. When we were in uh, South Australia uh, mid last year, we were lucky enough to be able to borrow my brother's uh, four drive, and in it, he had a portable uh, fridge, which was fantastic because what it meant uh, is that you could keep all your food uh, fresh while you're travelling, and then when you stopped camping for a while, uh, the fridge uh, continued to keep uh, things cool. Uh, it was great for a nice cold uh, bottle of wine and beer. So I've had a hankering since then to uh, to build one for us uh, that will fit in the back of the uh, uh, Robin's car. So this is the setup that I've uh, put together. Uh, it comprises the uh, Waco uh, CF50 um, DZ, which is a dual zone fridge freezer, which is nice. So you can actually freeze things. It'll run off 12 volt or 240 volt. So it's ideal for putting in a car and simply running off uh, the battery. Uh, what you don't want to do though is of course rely entirely on the car battery. Uh, that's fine while the car's going, but the moment you stop, of course your fridge goes off. So this is where this uh, auxiliary battery comes in. This is a 100 amp hour uh, AGM battery, very nice battery, and it'll run this fridge for about a day and a half. So that means you've got quite a bit in reserve when you're uh, stopped uh, camping. But in order to be able to manage uh, the uh, battery in the car and be able to charge this battery, I sourced this uh, CTEC um, DS250S um, charging unit. And what it does is that when you're driving your car, that's when your ignition's on, the alternator is actually charging this battery. But when you stop the car, then it switches over to the auxiliary battery. That means you actually never get a situation where you potentially run your uh, car battery down. And the other great thing about this unit is it will take a, another input from uh, a solar cell. So you can see here uh, this solar input is coming into this charger. And I was able to source this fantastic flexible portable solar cell from uh, Echo Camper in uh, Ballina. It's a 125 watt um, solar cell. A little unfurl, uh, typically onto your windscreen, and it'll very adequately, in full sunlight, be able to charge that auxiliary battery and run the fridge quite comfortably. So when you're camping, you can uh, um, be have confidence that you're, you're not discharging your battery, auxiliary battery. It's got a nice little security cable too that will enable you to secure the solar cell when it's on the front of the windscreen. Um, well, that's about it. I'm about to take the whole setup now down and uh, put it in the car and give it a try. And um, we'll put, so I'll put some other pictures up uh, of the solar cell all working a little later. But do feel free to uh, put any comments uh, on the on the video if you're interested, and I'll put a list of all the components and the, and the costs and, and like so you can uh, look for yourself. Okay, thanks.